Developing news right now, a water main break in Koreatown is causing flooding on streets and a below ground parking garage of an apartment building. Yeah, this always happens. The water flows into these parking garages and the poor owners of those vehicles. CBS 2's Candace Crone, she's live with the latest on the repairs. Candace. Yeah, good morning, and things are starting to dry out a little bit. I want to show you, though, the water is still flowing here on this street. Um, a, a couple inches deep here, as you can see, not causing a whole lot of problems, but a section of uh, Oxford is shut down. And if you follow me over here, that garage that we're talking about that's flooded, uh, you can see here a couple of cars inside. Have I try and splash through to get them out, uh, but it's certainly going to be a little bit of a headache for them today. Uh, here's some video, though, of what it looked like earlier. And water gushed up out of the pavement and turned this intersection into a small creek. This happened just before midnight. Now, the fire department got several calls about flooding in the area. When they arrived, that's when they discovered a large underground pipe had burst. I'm told it's an eight inch cast iron, around 90 years old. Now, the main break sent water into a nearby parking garage, as you saw, about ankle high. Uh, not enough to cause any cars to get stranded, though, but certainly a headache for the owners. A short stretch of Oxford Avenue here at 5th Street is blocked off to cars as crews begin the repairs. Uh, back out here live, uh, they have had to tow at least a couple of cars uh, to get their vehicles in here to start making those repairs. They're going to have to uh, repave the street. Parts of it, as uh, some of it has buckled a little bit, but four customers are without service this morning, and crews expect to have the water back on by noon. Live in Koreatown, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News this morning.